Uh, good morning, everyone. As Scott mentioned, I'm uh, Chris Knopp, Executive Director of Friends of the Boundary Waters Wilderness. And for over 40 years, uh, we have been the leading voice for protecting the Boundary Waters and the Greater Quetico Superior Ecosystem from Canada to Lake Superior. We're uh, pro-wilderness, pro-people, and, and pro-community. Our programs have been successful in defeating the, the Twin Metals mine so far. We have our No Boundaries to the Boundary Waters program that connects uh, children all throughout the state to the, to the environment and, and creates uh, new future stewards for, for protecting our land and water. And we believe in supporting the gateway communities, Ely, Grand Marais, the North Shore and Gunflin Trail. Those communities need to thrive in order for the wilderness to truly be protected. We're also pro good government. And that's what the DNR Conflicts of Interest Bill is all about here. DNR is both responsible for protecting our land, air, and water from mining, but it's also responsible for promoting mining. And this conflict of interest between protecting and promoting mining is best seen in the mess that DNR has made in permitting PolyMet. Thankfully, we've been successful in the course in overturning all of PolyMet's permits, and right now they cannot put a shovel in the ground here. But let's take a look at the mess that DNR has made of, of, of the PolyMet permits. It is a forever permit. There was no end date in the permit that DNR gave to PolyMet. Uh, the, the dam design that was designed to hold back, intended to hold back 900 acres of toxic wastewater is a flawed one that failed in 2019, killing over 250 people in Brazil. The DNR also coddled the international conglomerate that owns, owns PolyMet, Glencore, that uh, and it put uh, it put the risk of failure on Minnesota's taxpayers, and then finally the DNR ignored Glencore's bad acts that ranged from child labor to bribery to environmental violations from uh, all across the the globe here. So DNR has not been about protecting the environment; it's been about pr uh, promoting mining, and because of that, it's, it has a culture of granting permits and not denying permits when it should. So this bill, the DNR Conflicts of Interest Bill, transfers the responsibility for promoting mining from the Department of Natural Resources to the Department of Employment and Economic Development. So DNR can focus on protecting the environment and protecting our land, air, and water. This is a pro-good government bill and should be supported by everyone in the Minnesota legislature. And I, it is my honor now to introduce Senator Jen McEwen, the lead author of the bill, in the uh, Minnesota Senate. Senator McEwen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Chris. It is my great honor to be the lead author in the Minnesota State Senate of this bill that would um, address this real conflict of interest within the DNR, where the DNR is charged with both protecting our land and our waters and the people of Minnesota, and um, then also charged with the promotion of the mining industry. Um, so it's a very simple bill. It's a bill about good governance, about clarity of purpose, clarity of direction, and it simply transfers that responsibility for mining promotion from the DNR to DEED, where it really belongs, um, in a department that specializes in the promotion of economic um, ideas and industry. Um, so I guess I, what, I, what I'd like to talk just a little bit about is our experience out of Duluth. Um, some of the community organizers and activists who've been concerned about the PolyMet project in particular have really seen um, this concern about this, this conflict of interest firsthand. And the way that, one of the ways in which we've seen this is through trying to work through the process that has been set out within our statutes and um, uh, followed by the DNR, where um, we've asked, to, asked repeatedly for a contested case hearing. So a number of um, Duluthians, elected officials, um, uh, scientists, teachers, doctors, um, organizers um, throughout our, our city and our region have signed letters and made calls and asked repeatedly for a contested case hearing so that we could have a real look at some of the most uh, crucial and um, frightening aspects of this polymet proposal. Those, those aspects that 
that we're really concerned about the science, we're really concerned about the claims that PolyMed and Glencore have brought forth about the viability of doing this, the safety of doing this for our communities. So we've asked for this contested case hearing where we could have these issues aired out fully um, before a neutral arbiter where we could have um, um, questions posed to people uh, back and forth, a real flushing out of of what people know and what the concerns are. Um, but we haven't been granted that. And in fact, um, the Minnesota courts in a recent opinion just really opened the door for the DNR to have a contested case hearing on some of these issues, to have a broader contested hearing on one issue, but opened the door that they could have it on all of these other issues that we've been concerned about for years. But we have seen, unfortunately, the DNR not take that opportunity to have that contested case hearing, even when it was really laid out before them by the courts that you might want to have this hearing on all of these issues. Um, so again and again, we've been rebuffed and it leaves us in Duluth wondering who is the DNR working for? Is the DNR trying to protect our water? Is the DNR trying to protect our communities and look out for us? Or is the DNR more, um, geared toward the promotion of this particular mine and this industry and the development of it in northern Minnesota. So we are we're stuck with this with this question and it and it really does raise the question of who are they working for when when there's a conflict like this. The conflict is so evident um, in an example like this and we we see it again and again. So what we want to do is take remove that conflict so that it's very clear the purpose of the, the DNR is to work for the people of Minnesota. So um, we ask for, for your support for this bill. Um, I, I've seen all, already a lot of support from my colleagues asking about it. We've got mail about it from constituents, very common sense, and I look forward to moving this forward in the Minnesota legislature. So thank you. 